Hi everyone, happy Thursday. And you'll see that on Thursday, we continue to wear, wear pink. Yes, and there's pink here as well. And um, the little stand that I'm supposed to get to put my phone on while I make these things is also pink. Um, but the new microphone I'm supposed to get, my grown up microphone, is not pink. I could not find a pink microphone. So, but when I do, you know what's coming. So, um, yeah, my, look at my hair. Ugh. My hairdresser says I don't try with my hair, and there's probably some truth to that. You know, but I don't try with my makeup either. But I have an excuse for not trying with my makeup, and that is because um, I, I don't know where it is. And I only have like three actual makeup items that I can tangibly find, and the rest I don't know. And you should wear makeup, even if you work at home, you should dress up like you're going to work because this is your place of business, and if you're working at home, this is your job, and you should treat it like a job, and do your hours and not walk around in your pajamas or pink shirt or so on. But back to makeup. Today's uh, lip gloss is brought to you by, sadly, Kylie Jenner once again. And this color is Coco K, which I'm going to assume is for Courtney. And I almost bought this last night. And my friend was like, you need to not, you need to stop buying Kylie Jenner lip gloss because the wench has enough money as it is and you keep buying the same color like this, like this, like this, eh, this one's a little darker. I don't use it that much. So... Instead of giving Kylie Jenner 30 bucks, I went on Poshmark and found one that's new in box, that's red, a little different, a little something different, and got that one for $13 and $6 shipping using my credit from like the one thing I sold while on Poshmark, which is a total other YouTube. And so I got it for free. And I'll and I'll wear it. And that's probably all I'll wear until I can find the rest of my makeup. But anyways, today's uh, video is not about hair and makeup as much as I love talking about it. It is about, I have notes. I'm not ignoring you, I have notes. Um, consignment, wanted to talk to you about consignment and find out who out there is consigning. Why are you consigning? Do you like consigning? Do you find it profitable to consign? And what is the ratio of aggravation to profit in consigning? Is, was, it, was it harder than you thought? Is it easier than it thought? I have a million questions about consigning because we inadvertently got stuck in consigning when we first opened the store and it's been a ride up and down keeping our customer satisfied um, my husband is unsatisfied with the customer and would like to buy her out and make her go away and sadly she's one of my best friends so that's not gonna happen and we're just gonna keep having to cut her checks till her stuff is gone um, which is fine by me but he's not having it and I had a friend approach me because she works a nine to five and she's busy and she's got stuff to do and she would like some consignment help and we don't have the time right now. And after fourth quarter, we're going to be packing and we're going to be moving in the spring and I'm not going to have time to help her consign properly the way her, she's nice stuff, the way it needs to be consigned. Um, I'm not going to have time to do that until next summer and, I, and she she doesn't have time for that. She wants her money now. Um, and my mother wants stuff 
photographed for her and my stepmother wants stuff photographed for her and I, we're, we're having to say no everywhere and these are to people that we care about so um, be a lot easier to say no to strangers but we don't even have like a like a budget or anything like we're with my one friend that we're doing it it's like we're flying by the seat of our pants or like how much do you want to pay her like, I don't know just pay her what you owe her and send the check so my friends out there in the forum consigning talk to me let's talk about it you know write your ideas down you know let's hear about your experiences good bad ugly positive negative yes no what do you think let's let's hear it all about consigning today and let's see if there's anything else in my notes let's see and sorry about the coughing dog in the background he is collapsing trachea he is a puppy mill survivor so he doesn't feel very good mm. yep yeah, that's it that's all I had yeah very good so I'm supposed to tell you to um, if you like my video give it a thumbs up and if you like my video to subscribe to my channel Thank you to all seven or eight of you that have already subscribed and to share it with a friend or something. I don't know. Um, and that's great. Cha-ching, everyone. Happy, happy Thursday. And God bless. Bye. Mwah.